Hello everyone, welcome to the Geo Ecologist. I am Dr. Krishnanand and you have been watching my videos on various topics of geography, environment and research methodology on my channel, The Geo Ecologist. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing our channel because we are going to cover each and every topic related to geography on our channel. Now in today's session on settlements geography, we are going to look into the concept of future cities, smart cities, livability and also the emerging concerns for the future cities. So before we go ahead, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and do share the videos with others as well. So now let's learn about the concept of these future cities, the future to come. So what we look into is that in 2008, just about 14 years back, for the first time in human history, if you observe what happened, more than half of the world's population was living in cities. So when we observe that even 50% or more population across the world is living in cities, cities are the core future that we observe, the future to come. So Coming 2018, we observed that 55% and UN forecasts that it would rise to 68% by 2050. So this is why we are talking about future cities because urban development is concerned future here. So what we observe that other aspects of the futuristic city, for example, the sustainability factor, the inclusivity and the mixed uses become very important. Land use, land cover change is the biggest driver for global climate change that we talk about. So what we observe here, let's look into this. These kind of cities that we say hybrid cities, for example, this is a hybrid building in Beijing if you observe. So amount of construction along with the greeneries, the amount of green spaces alongside the constructed areas, the interconnectivity and also importance is given to the factor that is aesthetics of landscape alongside the combination of green as well as the concrete. So this is something which we look into the future cities. Now if we observe further the concept of smart cities that we generally consider. So whenever we say smart city, the word smartness nowadays is taken for technology. So smartness basically means that technology driven cities. So if you observe smartness in industrial portions, in security, in retail, in society as general, then healthcare, home, energy sector, mobility, all these sectors of a smart city has to be interconnected through a network which is based on information technology, information communication technology, internet and the smartness is in utility of these services in a very judicious manner, sustainable manner. So what we observe, the buildings of tomorrow's city will be based on the smartness and smartness is efficiency. So in every sector, we are looking for the efficient uses of our resources. So when we observe here, what is the vision of Indian government in smart city mission? So you observe here, this is the purpose of smart city mission is to drive economic growth. That is one. But remember, at the same time, improve quality of life of people, enabling local area development and also harnessing technology, especially that technology which is leading to smart outcomes. And remember, smart outcomes is something which is very interesting, which is based on efficiency of our uses of the resources around us. So if you observe, this is the current data. So you can go to the website smartcities.gov.in and you'll find it yourself, this kind of data. So this is where we are looking into for future cities in India. And there is this CLC livability framework. Now observe, this is very interesting. When we say CLC livability framework, it means we are talking about not just smartness, but livable city, a city which is based on the priorities of livability. So when we observe urban systems approach for developing a livable city, this is the diagram that commonly frequently is used. So remember Center for Livable Cities, CLC Singapore has made this framework that you observe on the screen. So what is it? High quality of life, competitive economy and sustainable development fusing together to make it livable city. Even if we are making it high quality of life and competitive economy, but sustainability factor is missing, the city won't be livable. So we are looking into the integration of these three pillars and integrated master planning development and dynamic urban governance. So this is where smart city combination with sustainable city combination with economically efficient city. 
comes together to make it a livability framework right so here are the descriptions if you can observe in the points and further if you observe what is important is these kind of initiatives. For example, Singapore has taken an initiative which is Smart Nation Framework. Now remember, it's not just city or state. It's about Smart Nation Framework. So new way of working and thinking about nationality based on smartness. And remember, we are talking about a framework where common challenges are to be met. What are the common challenges? Managing migration, managing counter inequality and managing sustainability at scales from national level to local level. So these are the common challenges which we are looking into in future and many countries like Singapore has already made a framework to manage these concerns. So when we say challenges, major challenges are managing migration. If you remember the pandemic waves in India and what happened to migration in India, internal migration, this is one example where chaos is there. We have to be very efficient in managing these migration and if you observe the data here, what you find over past 30 years, the world's urban population has risen from 1.6 billion to 3.9 billion, more than double almost. And in next 20 years, it is expected to surplus 6 billion. So what we are looking a huge growth and rural to urban migration. So urban areas are going to be crowded and if we don't have a management structure, then we are going to fail miserably. We are not be able to make a livable city. So what is important? The second challenge that is countering inequality. This kind of clear cut dichotomy that exists between rich and poor is something very important to look into. So when you observe this kind of framework in cities, remember, we need to balance it out because this is very important to provide equitable access to all elements of urban life. Remember, transportation, sanitation, healthcare, education has to be given to all kinds of people across all sections of people. This is where we have to counter inequality. So reducing inequality is very important. And then is the third factor that is sustainable scaling. Now, when we are looking into scaling, there are two things here. Remember, ensuring sustainable development of infrastructure, the reduction of pollution in the cities and creation of a safe, healthy environment. Now, remember when urban expansion is happening, urban sprawl is happening, what is happening? A horizontal expansion of the city. But remember, there will be a limit to it. City can only expand to a particular limit. And what is the next thing with it? We need to look into the vertical expansion of the city as well. So not just horizontal, but vertical expansion together has to be managed. That is where we say sustainable scaling of the city. And remember, with this comes the urban population that is having a long term de-densification trends that we observe. So what we are looking, the area of planet covered by urban settlements will be increasing to more than 3 million square kilometers up to 2050. So for example, if you look into the sub-Saharan Africa, what has happened since 1950 in just about 70 years, if you look earlier, the population was 1 million. Now it is about 50 million. So that is where we are racing towards the scaling in the city. Cities are going bigger and bigger and bigger. So what does it mean? We need to manage the scale through vertical and horizontal expansions in an integrative manner. That is a challenge number three. Now what we are looking into is emerging concerns of future. What are the major concerns in future going to be? So one of the biggest concern is safer cities. Then we have resilient cities and then we have collaborative cooperation. Remember, if these three pillars are not working, we are going to fail miserably in terms of livability in future. So these are the three pillars of emerging concerns. Let's look into it. So concern number one is safe city. Now remember, preventing terrorism, preventing cyber attacks and several more is what we are looking into in future cities. So foiling cyber attacks, counter terrorism and maintaining social cohesion. Now remember, city areas do not have much of social cohesion. People are so busy in themselves that they become more individualistic. So this is also a management part. If people are not going to take care of each other. If there is no social cohesion, then crimes are going to get more and more. So this is one part of making a safer city. Then what you observe is the resilient and sustainable city. So remember when we say resilient, it means essentially to the various drivers of global climate change impacting the city. So if there is heating, warming, creation of urban heat islands that we also discussed in environmental geography, if you remember. So the imperative to reconfigure the infrastructures is very important and it has to withstand what? 
the impact of climate change that we are looking into, the global soaring rise in temperatures and the solution like green, hybrid, livable and sustainable cities like this. So if you are not making it, then it's going to be very difficult. So the future concern is withstanding the climate change in the cities. Right? Then what we observe, the 12 trends for future cities. So if you can read the list here, these are the major 12 trends which are looked upon across the world and we can see that these are the 12 trends which are trending right now to build a future city across the world. So what are them? Green planning of public spaces, smart health communities, 15 minute city, a very interesting concept that cities are being designed in a way that amenities and most services are within 15 minute. It's like blanket services, isn't it? So walking or cycling distance or creating a neighborhood approach. So this neighborhood approach is picking up fast in terms of goods and services, health services, all kind of services provision. Now what we're looking into is mobility, intelligent, sustainable and as a service mobility. Remember the last mile connectivity improvement, the metros and so many other modes of transportation making it an efficient city, then inclusive services and planning in digital innovation ecosystem, circular economy and producing locally, then smart and sustainable buildings and infrastructure, then you have mass participation, social cohesion part and city operations through AI. Now artificial intelligence is going to be future, right? So cyber security, privacy awareness and surveillance and predictive policing through artificial intelligence is where we are heading. So cities in Americas to Europe to India, Southeast Asia, China, so many places you'll observe of the future cities trends are these list on your screen so that is what we are heading forward looking forward to future so if you have to build a stronger future a sustainable future a livable and smart future these are the trends to follow and earlier we have already discussed about the concerns which we need to address in present to make the future sustainable and livable. So now when we have covered details of the future cities, the livability, smart cities and various concerns for future in the sessions to come we'll be talking on sustainable urban development. So stay tuned, stay safe, keep watching and learning and don't forget to share the videos with others and do subscribe to our channel. So all the best wishes.